today we're gonna put on a bug collector this is AVS is the brand I've been using AVS for 20 years I had it on the very first truck I bought in college in 2000 and had it on that truck for like nine years I bought another truck um, in 2009 and immediately put AVS um, products on it uh, rain guards I've got the AVS uh, rain guards on the Tacoma already, but today we're going to put a bug collector and I had a bug collector on my Ranger I had a bug collector on my Dodge. I had another Ranger that I had a bug collector on and today I'm putting another bug collector on my Tacoma. So the bug collector in this series the AVS bug collector 2 the difference with this one other than the Flush mount is that this one actually goes over the edge of the fender as well And so it actually shows up here fender protection um because this is a little bit higher and has a little bit more of a slope, uh, it says it helps you with your windshield a little bit more. I think the flush one would probably mainly just help with the front of the hood. So I'm going to unpackage this. There's mounting hardware inside the end of the package here, but I think this is gonna look pretty good. It's got a nice contour. It follows the shape of the hood. So I think it's gonna have a nice contour to it. I think it'll look pretty good. So. We've got some video now with what it looks like before installation. So here's what it looks like prior. I've got the hood popped. I've got the hood popped right now. So we're going to be able to get in under here. Uh, if you stick around, I've got another video that's going to come out soon. And you'll see I'm actually switching out the hood prop rod here. So instead of having this hood prop rod that I have to put up, I'm actually going to put in some struts, so stick around for that. That'll be another nice addition to the Tacoma here. But these holes on the bottom lip here, this is where we're going to be mounting the bug collector. So let me get the bug collector out and we'll get it installed. Just be careful when you're cutting this out of the packaging that you don't accidentally cut the bug collector. Pretty sure this is probably going to look like little Christmas tree fasteners, the same kind of fastener you'd have on like a door panel mount, and sure enough it does. So they're showing there's some rubber bumpers in here. So you take the rubber bumpers and put them on the inside of the, um, the shield itself, and then there's the, those are the little mounts. So you snap those in and then push them down, and that's what fastens the holes in the bug collector to the holes in the bottom of the hood. got little indentations on the end of these plastic clips that say it looks like a Phillips head screwdriver but they don't actually screw so you don't have to worry about trying to get them to screw in place they're not going to screw in place anyway I think it looks pretty good. 
other than the issue with where the plastic is that the where the actual um, prop rod for the hood goes in everything lines up fine and I think it looks pretty slick pretty low profile but it does have the extra end on it here that goes over the front corner of the fender I'd say it looks pretty good well that's it for this install this is the ABS Bug Shield 2, and we have it installed now. It didn't take much time. I'll probably, I'll just take, end up taking a look underneath here and see what they were showing where they needed the little bumpers. There's, there's four little uh, rubber baby bumpers in here, and for whatever reason, they show them like they need to go under here to protect the hood, I guess, from getting hit. Uh, maybe this is more for the flush mount, because I don't see how this is this is never going to go down far enough that it's actually going to hit the hood so I'll just find a spot probably on the bottom this says to put these on the hood I'm not going to put these on the hood I would want to tack these on the bottom of the bug collector itself so I might just kind of evenly spread out the four bumpers that they gave me but other than that we're done with this install thanks for taking the time to watch please subscribe to the channel subscriptions are most important I think I'm about 307 subscribers so far would really like to meet that 1000 mark and uh, just like the video, share the video, comment on the video, share the channel, and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Bye.